Welcome to the Money and Flow podcast, where your vinyasa as well as cash flows are being met. Did you know that the health and wellness community is a $600 billion business? And did you know that there is a really small number of women that are in finances? We're here to change that. This is the first podcast that talks about health as well as wellness and how it affects our everyday life. This podcast is particularly specialized for women and women of color. And without further ado, your host, Eugenie George. Hello, welcome to the Money and Flow podcast, where your cash and vinyasa flows are both being met. My name is Eugenie George. Uh, not to be confused with Eugene, which is very common. And actually, you know, I was thinking the other day, I recorded this episode a couple of weeks ago. And, you know, I really true, truly believe in what Cheryl Sandberg said, that done is better than perfect. But y'all, when you hear that episode, it was sounding really, really pathetic. I think I'm really excited to talk about a lot of the topics But for some reason, I was trying to do this yogi, quiet, zen type person. And this is not the time to be zen-like. This is a time to actually jump into September. It's back to school, which means there's a lot of things happening. There's lots of new routines. There's a lot of old routines. And sometimes we get a little bombarded with everything that is old and new together. So for today, our topic is how we're going to revolutionize our back to school. So we have a solid four months until the end of the year. And we also have a lot of holidays happening. We have a lot of community. We have a lot of engagement that that happens. Uh, September is one of my favorite seasons or sorry, September is one of my favorite months. So I definitely know that when I'm in September mode, it's kind of like game time. I just really love it. I love being outside. I love that it's not as hot. I live in Philly. So some of y'all know that it's a, it could be really, really hot in the summer. So I'm excited to whine and fall down and ease into my fall. So today I'm going to break up our categories because what I realized is, yes, we want to have back to school. Yes, we want to have new routines or old routines, but the way I wanted to break down each of our topics is I wanted to break it down in health, mental health, travel, money. Okay, so all of, both of these, um, or all three of these ideas, they are really, really great for you to think about how you're going to spend your money on a daily basis, okay? So I picked out a couple of different gurus or experts that I think that are beneficial. I also try to be very careful of what I picked out, depending on price, depending on how people felt about spending money. I want to make sure that this is one of the first times that we're going to talk about money and flow together. So I don't want you to go out and gloop it or goop it. You know how Gwyneth Paltrow is. She'll tell you about all of this uh, amazing products, but a lot of people can't afford it. So I don't think that that's fair. I think, yes, you can dream that and you can manifest it and say, you know, one day I'm going to get that gloop, that goop bag on page 76. But at the same time, you also need to be realistic and make sure that you're dealing with your goals. So today uh, we're going to look at health and I broke up health into two different categories. One, I broke it up in health, which is mostly fitness. And then the next I broke, broke it up into mental health, which is a little bit different, but I think that we should break them up because yes, they're both very beneficial, but also they are very different in terms of making sure that our flow is in tune with ourselves and we're living our best life. So the first expert that I really want to talk about is Tamika Kag. Now, I just found her a couple of months ago, and I think that this girl is amazing. I think that there are not that many people or fitness gurus that are super relatable, especially when it comes to the fitness world. Sometimes it can be a little bit overwhelming when you're looking at fitness people and always working out. Yes, you want to strive for that, but then at the same time, some things are just not realistic, okay? So Tamika, I would say, is not like that at all. 
One, she, what I love is on most of her posts, she talks about having cheat days. She talks about working out. But at the same time, she talks about just overall living a healthy life. Now, she was voted for one of the dopest women of color uh, to go and participate in her retreats by Essence Magazine. So that is something that's awesome. So if you want to have a retreat and you want to transform your life and you also want to work out and have good food, Tamika Kag is one of your girls. I will make sure that I will put all of these these uh, people in the show notes. So there's Tamika Kag. The next chick is, if you're really thinking about, you know, it's September, I have had so many uh, ice creams, I cannot deal with it right now. I do need to change my entire health routine. I would say that Lauren Gleesberg is your girl. The reason why is because if you need a whole health routine, your whole health routine needs a facelift. She is probably the best person to go to. Why? Because her programs range from $12 to $75. So that means that she has workout meals ready for you and she has a home and gym workout. So there's pictures for each one of them and there's also meal prep ideas. So because her programs only range from $12 to $75, It's very affordable for people and it's also very doable. So I tried her workout plan um, a couple of, I think a year ago, and it worked excellent. And then eventually I got a personal trainer just because um, I loved her workouts, but I didn't feel like I was meeting my maximum potential because sometimes, you know, when you work out by yourself, you get a little bit on the lazy side. So Lauren is really good with that. There is one honorable mention that I want to point out to is even if you just Google lazy girl fitness, there are so many hilarious lazy girl fitness ideas. And I would say if you don't want to do either of the Tamika or Lauren and you just want to have stuff that's free 99, then I would say just type in lazy girl fitness and you'd be surprised what you'd see. Okay. Moving on to mental health. You guys, mental health is so, so important. It's so crazy that if you really think about your family, if you really think about uh, just a couple of centuries ago, people did not talk about mental health. Mental health used to be just for people that were wealthy. It was just Sigmund Freud. It was a certain group of people that were able to access health care or mental health. And right now we have mental health at our fingertips. So for the two mental health apps that I wanted to talk about is Better Health and Talkspace. And I believe that um, Michael Phelps used Talkspace. But anywho, these are two therapy apps that are very, very helpful. Their doctors are certified. They're either doctors or PhDs or MFAs or MAs. So you know you're not dealing with somebody that's just you're talking to on hotline. The other thing is that Better Health and Talkspace is affordable and sometimes more affordable than certain therapists. So if you're thinking about, I really need to talk to someone and you're talking to your mom and you know you shouldn't be talking to your mom about all your drama because that's a burden for her, think about doing something like that. Better Help I will personally say that BetterHelp, when I research both of the topics, BetterHelp is less inexpensive because you can kind of debate the cost based off of your cost of living. So both of them are still affordable, but BetterHelp you can negotiate. And I'll also make sure that I put the links at the bottom. Now, the next thing is travel. Now, What I love, what I love, 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 and I do it too. I'm very guilty of it. I just did it a couple uh, months ago. But travel is, I mean, that is a millennial's dream. We like to go out. We love to be seen. We love to have experiences. What I've noticed is once September comes, or once September comes around, we're so stressed out because we spent so much money over the summer because we went abroad or we went to Miami or we did something and we didn't budget for it so we knew we wanted to go abroad we knew we should have bought our ticket in January like that guy little Dickie talked about how you got to buy your plane tickets in October for your your summer uh your summer trip most of us don't do that so I would say 
if you're thinking about traveling next year or even traveling in the holidays, that could be crazy. Go to Danielle Desir's thought card. Now she's about to have a podcast and I personally know her and she's amazing. She talks about how you can budget as well as pay down your debt, as well as purchase a home, as well as be, have your best life as and travel so sometimes we see or we hear tons of different people talk about you want to travel you want to use your air mileage she's going to actually show you how to do it and she's going to have several different other people on her blog talk about it as well so we're going to jump into the money so everything had to do with money but i will say there are a couple of people that i wanted to highlight because I think that if you're a woman and you're a woman of color, it is the time is right now to invest. Okay, it is really, really important for us to invest. And not only is it really important for us to invest, it's important for us to understand that we have the same amount of skills that a man does when it comes to investing in ourselves. There is a company called Elvest. People are starting to believe it. People are manifesting it and investing is probably one of your best bets when it comes to in thinking about the future. So there is this great, great blogger called Danielle, uh, I'm sorry, <laughs> Desiree Osajic, and she has a blog as well as she blogs for the finance diet, uh, sh- the financial diet. She has a free course called Half Banked. So Half Banked is she actually breaks down all of the ways that you can just start investing from scratch. It doesn't mean you're investing in your 401k. It's just investing in how how your investments are going to grow over time. What I will say is I have read and heard and seen tons, 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 tons of different I will teach you to be rich, I will make you rich type strategies. But this is the first one that I, I could say that is written out clearly. It's not overwhelming and it it'll take you from day one to day four and you'll have a wealth simple or a betterment account by the end of that okay so it's really simple you can start investing with five dollars twenty dollars it's it really isn't that complicated but what i love is that desiree does make it fun and it makes it really really simple now my other girl who y'all know i'm gonna try to get her on this show Courtney Richardson is the Ivy investor. So some of you guys know who she is, but she is a former stockbroker and now attorney, which means she can help you with your money and she can also help you when your boo is acting funny. You know what I mean? So Courtney is definitely a person to read. She has a blog. She has lots of workshops if you're in the local like NYC, Philly, DC area. What I love about Courtney is that one, she helps you with your taxes, two, she helps you with your money, and three, she can help you with investments, stocks, real estate, and retirement, all of that, okay? So that's those are kind of like the main people that I would say are really, really making a game changer when it comes to our health and our wealth. And I also would say that it's actually not as expensive as you would think. A lot of their resources are free a lot of the resources are available to you so i'll make sure i put most of those at the show notes hey before we jump into our action steps i want to let you guys know that we have a money and flow facebook group so you can just hop over there it's called money and flow facebook group we're going to start talking about health and wealth and all that in between now if you haven't subscribed y'all I would say go ahead and press that little button. Please, if you got some time, you got fingers, also place a review. And without further ado, we're going to jump into our action plans when it comes to setting new goals for our health and wealth. Hey everyone, as you know, repetition is key. And so for this month's series, we're going to talk about how you can look at your crisis. It might be an identity crisis. It might be a financial crisis, what have you, and how you can use the growth model to change the way you look at your health and finances, okay? Your health, wealth, finances, relationships, and careers. So 
there's a weird caveat with this. One caveat is in order for you to create the the life that you love, you have to stop complicating a lot of things and you have to simplify it. I know it's really hard because there's tons of personality tests and there's work compatibility and there's take this quiz. I mean, I don't know how many times I've taken a quiz from BuzzFeed that says, what kind of teacup are you based off of a friend's episode? Okay. So knowing that there's just so many different ways that you can analyze and measure yourself can be really complicated. But in order for you to create this growth, you should just simplify things. So whenever I have a stressful time, or I am thinking about making a big change in my life, I simplify everything. We have tons of different ideas about who we are, where we stand, but there are four different sectors or spectrums of your life that you can really look at. One is your health. One is your wealth. One is your relationships and your career. You can draw it out. I, sometimes I draw it out in a nice little box and I write out health, wealth, relationships, and career. That's it. Health, wealth, relationships, and career. If you don't want to write it out and you just want a little simplified piece of paper, we do have a growth self-coaching money and flow podcast and that's actually in the show notes so you can look at health your wealth relationships career you draw it out your health your wealth relationship career you draw it out in a box but the main key is you see this is what your life looks like right now how am I growing how can I change uh, what's what's right in front of me so when you're looking at your health you write either your glow or your grow, right? Your glow is something that you're doing really well in. And then your grow is just an area uh, that needs to be tended to. Not that you need to change yourself, but it's something that you would like to take more examination over, right? So I can give you a great example. My health is right now, the glow is I'm consistently exercising on a daily basis. The grow is uh, sometimes... When I get super stressed, it's this constant, the eating habits. I'm around a lot of uh, children. I'm also around a lot of men and they have a lot of snacks. Men and children love snacks. They just love them so much. It doesn't matter if it's Fruity Pebbles. It doesn't matter if it's Doritos. There's always chips. So whenever I get stressed out, it's, um, I will grab whatever those Doritos, whatever they have purchased, I uh, because I don't really purchase that stuff. I will eat it and it makes me feel yucky at the end. So I, I that's something that I want to pay attention to. So you can write that out for each one of your sectors, your quadrants, your health, your wealth, your relationship and career. That's it. You write out your glow and grow for each of them. What's one thing that's good? What's one area that you need to grow, right? Once you are done with writing down each of your mod your model and your idea, you can kind of look at it and be proud of the fact that in every single quadrant, there's something that you should feel happy about. Yeah, so your life, you have to look at everything in a really positive light. You are doing things, you're making positive steps to become the best version of yourself, to be okay with sometimes not being okay. You're making all these steps. So looking at your crisis model, your health, wealth, relationship, career, that is a good way to just say, hey, look at me, I'm doing, I'm making effort. So the next step is you move into the growth model, right? We have a crisis like, oh, I don't know what I'm doing right. I don't know if I'm a, a positive person or I'm just always angry all the time. And then the next part is growth. Well, you might be angry sometimes, but we can figure out different ways to remedy your being angry all the time. So the growth model is the goal reality. It is the opportunity and it is a way forward. So you look at your crisis model and you pick one thing from your health, wealth, relationships, career. I'm going to pick my career right now because I think that that is something that really needs a lot of area of growth. So I would say the, gl the glow for my career is that I'm getting my MBA. I'm doing this podcast there. There are just a lot of positive things with my career right now. I'm 
at 30, but I'm becoming 31. So I'm trying to set this year with intention and trying to figure out, hey, what does that look like? Um, how do you create this world of abundance based off of having communication with tons of beautiful people, right? So I'm looking at my career. Those are the grow, the glows, right? Here's the grow though. The grow is, um, how can I communicate effectively? Sometimes even when I listen to this podcast, I find myself tripping up over my ideas. I read a lot of books. I talk to a lot of people and I spend a lot of time alone. So sometimes I'm not able to take all those ideas and uh, put them properly into communica- uh, a communication form, right? So I know you're right thinking, well, no, you sound pretty you sound like you can communicate. But yes, there are some things that when I find myself tripped up, I don't follow through. Okay, so I'm gonna look at the grow model. So the goal for my model is, I'd like to write blog posts and podcasts clearly, like for everyone to be able to read and listen to my blog and podcast and say, wow, you know, she seems like she really wants to help people. She seems like this is supposed to be her mission. And it is very clearly well thought out when you listen to the podcast, when you read. Here's the reality, which is the R. I only have 10 hours a month to do all of these things, okay? So it's not, I, I plan everything ahead of time because I don't have enough time. I'm studying. I'm going to take my CFP exam, which is like a two-day exam, kind of like the law, the bar. Like, I don't have any time to to waste. So I... I only really have 10 hours a month to create podcasts and to write blog posts. So the opportunity or the option or the way out is that I could either pay someone for a, to edit my blog posts, which could, that could definitely help me with being able to visually see if my papers and whatnot make sense. Or I could have someone listen to the podcast before I even release it. So those are kind of like the two options that I have, okay? Because that's a better way to make sure that everything's clear and everything's effective. So I'm looking at that entire thing and um, that seems pretty doable. That's the reality of it. It's not too complicated, but it is saying, hey, this is the only time I have. How can I spend it wisely? You could do the same exact thing for your health. You could do that same exact thing for your relationships. I mean, I would say um, one of the things that I can use my relationship as a good example, like um, I'm doing really well with my partner, but one area of growth could be that sometimes I get a little stressed out about certain topics that we talk about and we can just plan those those options out. So literally every quadrant that you have, you can you can brace it. You can put the grow model. Now, here's the next thing. The W is the way forward. So the way forward, you need to have something, a timer or in your Google calendar, you have to set a, a date. So we're going back to my career, at, which is the MBA, the glow, the grow. The reality is I only have 10 hours. When can I do that? Well, I'm going to say Sundays and Saturdays, the weekends in the morning are the best times because one, everyone's asleep and when I'm awake, so that's perfect. Two is I'm not stressed out about work or doing different things. So if I have that time set out, then I am more likely to follow through. And I will say I just started this grow method of working on my podcast on the weekends. I did on Saturdays uh, this mor- or yesterday morning and I also did it on Sunday. And yeah, this is the first time. So I can actually check on my calendar, check, check. I've worked on my podcast and I've worked on the blog posts. So I'm very excited about that. So that is actually a very simple way that you can look at any your finances, your health, your wealth, your relationship, career. Of course, they're all intertwined because we're human beings. Everything that we do is interconnected. We can connect the most complicated things into, and we can simplify them, right? I can teach a kid algebraic or physics, but at the same time, how can I explain it to them so they understand it developmentally? All of these things are very, very achievable, but we have to get into that mindset of, oh yes, I can do this. I just need to take out five to 10 minutes a day. So even if you did, so the last step or the last caveat that I like to 
to add to all everything. So I think you should add something physical, adding something that's um, healthy or doing something that, I don't know, it might be affirmations. It has to be something where you're physically using your body to show that you're going to do this plan, right? So you have the crisis model, you did the growth part, and then the next thing is we're gonna flow into all of these ideas. So personally, I love um, yoga with Adrienne. It's simple, it's free, it's YouTube. She's really, she seems like she has it all together in terms of creating positive YouTube videos that sets people's intentions. So I will read my crisis model, look at the areas of growth, and then I'll just do some form of yoga to set an intent. Now, some of you guys are like, I really don't like yoga. Yoga really annoys me. I get it. Okay. I was one of those people. I used to go to yoga. I used to want to punch people in the face. I hated it. But I also grew up in California and I knew that there were positive effects because my best friend, Whitney Guide said she wrote her senior thesis paper on it. I would say that was like 12 11 or 13 years ago and it just stuck with me like even if I don't want to do this even if I don't like it this is something that's going to help give me a positive feedback and it doesn't require that much work it all it requires you can have a towel it's not that much most people have phones you're listening to this podcast on a phone so you got a phone download something so you want to add some physical activity when you're thinking about Uh, areas of growth. It's just another way that you could just flow into your ideas. There's another way that you can look at um, your flow. You could run. So I used to do this model in a different way where I would think about my goals and I would play Kevin Gates. I don't get tired every single time. And I would say like, uh, can you do this? Yes. And I would have all these self doubts and I would say them, say them out loud, like, Oh no, you can't do this. There's no way that you have 10 hours. You can't do all this stuff, you know, just sort of kind of psyching myself out. And then I would just sprint for a solid, you know, 20 seconds. It's not that serious. I would just sprint, but I would walk and do this whole process. Like, Oh yeah. Can you write blog posts? Girl, you don't have that much time. And I would say, no, none of that. That's all a lie. Everything's going to get taken care of and then just run. Okay. Now you're probably thinking, usually you're not a a personal trainer or whatnot. No, I'm not. But you know what? I've been working out for a really long time. And I think that adding physical activity is very, very important. I also believe that if you say out loud your goals and you talk to people about them, even if they're super, super far fetched, like I'm going to fall in love in Austin, which I did. And people laughed at me at first, but you know what? It happened. So you just say it. Okay, it doesn't matter if you sound crazy. You're awesome. You are awesome. It doesn't matter. Just literally go through that model. And I'm going to repeat this again. You're going to hear it on every single podcast in this series because I want you to actually get this area of growth. So break it down. Crisis model. Health, wealth, relationships, career. Okay, next. Grow. Okay, what's that goal? What's that goal that you want to improve in? What's the reality of the time? What's your opportunity? And what's one way that you can get through? And then the last part is adding something physical where you physically flow into your ideas. It may be yoga, it may be your boxing. You can literally psych yourself out and say, I'm going to crush, I'm going to crush my health goals. I'm going to beat the crap out of someone. I would never say that, but you know, when you're fighting, you're not thinking about you're not thinking about sometime and daisies, you know what I'm saying? So that is the growth model. Uh, I hope you enjoy it, but I really want everyone to understand that we can grow. It takes time. This is not an overnight thing. I hate to break it to you, but all of these ideas and areas take, take time. But knowing that you simplified your life is just one positive step in the right direction.